Chessington World of Adventures is one of the most visited theme parks in the UK, located just 12 miles away from central London. The park has something for the whole family, from award-winning rides to a zoo. But there are some facts about the park that are not common knowledge. In this video, I will be explaining the Chessington World of Adventures iceberg, which I made myself due to popular demand. At the tip of the iceberg will be the more well-known facts about the park, but as we delve deeper, they will become more and more obscure. So without further ado, let's dive in to the Chessington World of Adventures iceberg. Britain's wildest adventure is the slogan for Chessington World of Adventures, with the wild part referring to the presence of rides and animals at the resort. Before the theme park was built, the area where the theme park stands today was called Chessington Zoo, which opened in 1931 by Reginald Stuart Goddard, a former Royal Naval Air Service officer who purchased the estate to showcase his personal collection of animals. At one time, it was the largest private zoo in England. After the death of Goddard in 1946, the zoo was taken over by the Pearson Publishing Company, and later the Tussauds Group, who transformed the estate into a theme park. Vampire is an aerodynamic suspended swinging roller coaster that opened in Chessington in 1990. The ride layout was designed by the renowned theme park designer John Wardley, who also worked on the gothic theming of the roller coaster, alongside Spock's creative services. Mandrill Mayhem is a B&M launch steel shuttle wing coaster that opened in 2023 alongside the new World of Dimanji area of the park. The roller coaster is the first of its kind to be built by B&M and is the only B&M coaster that doesn't form a complete circuit. Due to the proximity of Thorpe Park and Chessington World of Adventures, which are located within 20 miles of each other, Merlin Entertainments, who operate both parks, made a point to differentiate the parks by marketing them to different audiences. Thorpe Park is aimed at thrill seekers, mainly teenagers and young adults, whereas Chessington is mainly aimed at families with young children. Rattlesnake is a steel wild mouse coaster that opened at Chessington World of Adventures in 1998, manufactured by Mauro Rides. Rattlesnake is themed around a Mexican mine of the Wild West era, with the cars resembling minecarts and a number of wooden structures and animated figures. The installation of the ride prompted the renaming of the park's Calamity Canyon area to Mexicana, which remains today. Croc Drop is a drop tower ride manufactured by SBF Visa Group, which opened at Chessington World of Avengers in 2021. This was the first major ride investment at the park since 2013, the ride is themed to Sebek, an ancient Egyptian god of crocodiles, which controlled the waters. The god is said to have been possessed by evil spirits, transforming him into a cruel deity. Therefore, riders must take part in a ceremony to banish the evil spirits by plunging into Sebek's soul and freeing the waters back into the River Nile. Dragon's Fury is a steel spinning roller coaster manufactured by Mauro Rides. It was opened at Chessington World of Avengers in 2004, 
along with Spinball Weather, which opened at Olsen Towers in the same year. Dragon's Fury features a unique custom track, designed partly by John Wardley to accommodate the surrounding terrain. The Safari Hotel was opened in 2007, originally named the Safari Lodge Hotel. It features African theming and even a reptile enclosure. It was fully integrated as a resort in 2010, with guests being able to access the Waniyama Village and Reserve from the hotel. The hotel was originally operated by Holiday Inn but was fully taken over by Melon Entertainments in 2014. Cobra is the Zampella Mega Disco Coaster that opened in the 2010 season in the new Wild Asia Land at Chessington World of Adventures. Cobra features two large snake statues at either end of the track giving the ride its name. Riders sit at the edge of a circular ride car, which spins along a 90 meter track at 43 miles per hour. The ride model includes a camelback hill in the center of the track to give the ride car airtime as it travels over. Tiger Rock is the log flume ride which opened the Chessington World of Adventures in 1987. The ride is manufactured by Mac Rides and designed by John Wardley. The ride opened under the name Dragon River with an oriental theme and truly immersive theming, setting a benchmark for UK theme parks. Riders would travel past a spectacular rock work and plunge into an imposing dragon's mouth. A towering figure modelled on the Great Buddha of Kamakura would stand over the ride's winding trough, whilst two huge stone faces, based on Angkor Wat, sat either side of the imposing final drop. In 1999, the ride was renamed from Dragon River to Dragon Falls. In subsequent years, much of the original theming was removed due to lack of maintenance, including the towering rockwork and stone faces which exposed the ride system and back of house areas. For the 2018 season, the area was relaunched as Land of the Tiger, featuring Tiger Rock, a reimagined version of Dragon River with theming that did not match the quality of the original installation. Tomb Blaster is an interactive dark ride attraction that opened at Chessington World of Adventures in 2002. Riders travel in trains through a series of cribs, shooting laser guns at targets to gain points. In August 2015, Tomb Blaster closed and underwent a minor refurbishment during the closed season, with a new laser gun system, an ultraviolet scenic treatment, and altered audio. The refurbished ride debuted during the annual pass preview weekend of 2016 to a negative response. Guests as well as fans of the ride criticised the unprofessional nature of the new lighting and audio alterations, citing missing sound effects, many animations still broken, missing pieces of the sets, and excessive light spillage that revealed areas intended to be covered by darkness. In 2020, the attraction was revamped once again with a new story overlay and a new soundtrack was created by Nick Hudson with new lighting and some of the targets removed. The new story for the attraction is that the guests are being recruited to rid the tomb of the curse of the High Priest. In 2020, a new water ride opened in the rainforest area of the park, named River Rafts, a mini log flume ride designed for younger children. This ride formerly operated at Weymouth Sea Life, but was refurbished and relocated to Chessington.
In 2022, Chessington World of Adventures announced that Coco Melon would arrive at the resort as part of a summer event. The Coco Melon partnership continued as the Spring Spectacular, which returned in 2023 and 2024. Troller Trouble is a Zampella rocking tug that previously operated as Timber Tugboat at Thorpe Park, which was removed to make way for Project Exodus. Before it was at Thorpe Park, it also operated at Weymouth Sea Life. It opened alongside Barrel Bailout in the newly refurbished Shipwreck Coast area for the 2022 season. At the 2023 Annual Theme Park Awards, Chessington World of Adventures managed to win various awards, including the biggest award, Theme Park of the Year, as well as a gold award for Best New Attraction for the World of Jumanji, and a silver award for Best Themed Coaster for Mandrill Mayhem. They even won a bronze award in the Best Theme Park Hotel category for the Chessington Safari Hotel. In 2011, Chessington World of Adventures launched the Chessington Conservation Fund, which was set up to raise money to help protect the future of nature and wildlife through conservation work and education at Chessington Zoo in the local community and worldwide. The fund supports charities such as Wildcats Conservation Alliance, World Land Trust, and Surrey Wildlife Trust. Money is raised through donations from guests, special events, and VIP experiences. 10% of the parking fee at the resort goes to the Chessington Conservation Fund. Elmer's Flying Jumbos is a Red Baron ride, manufactured by Preston and Barbary. It originally opened in the then Toy Town area of Chessington World of Adventures in 1987, under the name Flying Jumbos, but was moved to the Zufari area, and later the Adventure Point area of the park, where it operates to this day. In January 2020, it was announced that a new four-year partnership was created with Chessington World of Adventures, with the theme of Elma, a fictional family book character, entering the park and retheming the ride to Elma's Flying Jumbos. In 1990, a brand new dog water ride opened at Chessington World of Adventures, named Professor Burb's Bubble Works. The ride's concept was developed by John Wardley, and the ride was designed and built by Keith Sparks Production Company. The ride took guests on a journey through a magical factory and followed the making of Professor Burp's fizzy pop, from juicing to bottling. The dog ride went on to be highly successful for the park, and it spawned similar dog water rides in the country. John Wardley has stated that it was often named the third best dog ride in the world by the National Amusement Park Historical Association. John Wardley later reflected on the attraction as being his proudest moment at Chessington. Scorpion Express was a mine train themed powered roller coaster manufactured by Mac Rides that opened with the theme park in 1987. The original name of the coaster was Runaway Train. 
The original roller coaster featured an extensively themed ride area and queue, designed by John Wardley himself. The coaster travelled in and out of a large mountain feature, which added to the ride experience. The coaster, however, had a prolonged lack of maintenance and was closed in 2012. In 2014, the coaster reopened with the new name of Scorpion Express. During its downtime, the majority of the ride's theming, landscaping and the iconic mountain were removed, leaving the coaster's track out in the open. Instead, a large animatronic Scorpion was installed. The reimagined ride received largely negative reviews, mainly due to the ride's now minimalistic theming. It did, however, remain a popular family attraction. In July 2022, a fire occurred close to Scorpion Express and damaged one of the ride's cars. The roller coaster and surrounding area have been closed ever since, with reopening dates being pushed back twice. It is currently uncertain whether or not the ride will reopen again in the future. In 2001, Vampire was closed after experiencing many breakdowns and maintenance issues. At the time, the closure was believed to be permanent due to the roller coaster's manufacturer, Aerodynamics, going bankrupt, which meant that little could be done to fix the issues that the coaster had been experiencing. The track of the coaster could but not be modified due to the issue of planning permission, which was unlikely to be granted. Rather than demolishing the ride, Chessington World of Adventures opted to modify the roller coaster so that Vacoma's model of swinging suspended coaster trains could be installed. Vampire, with its newly installed trains, reopened in 2002. Chessington World of Adventures is located on Greenbelt land meaning that the park is subject to various restrictions. One of the restrictions is height. The park is not permitted to build above the tree line. This is why some of the rides, for example, Crop Drop, Blue Barnacle and Rattlesnake, are built in pits. There are also restrictions on traffic management and noise. The park is therefore unable to operate Vampire past 11pm due to noise restrictions. In November 2022, Chessington World of Adventures held a public consultation revealing plans to build a new adventure water park attraction as an extension to the Safari Hotel. The plans are codenamed Project Bruce, and as we know, Merlin loves to give strange names to its plans and developments. The results stated that the water park will create an indoor subtropical paradise through a variety of water-based activities. These will include themed pools and slides, a spa area, a wave pool, and a lazy river which transports guests outside through an area overlooking the existing Waniyama Reserve. It will create a wild adventure by bringing guests closer to the animals, including two indoor floor-to-ceiling fish tanks and a meerkat enclosure visible from the Lazy River. In June 2023, the plans for the water park were submitted to the Royal Borough of Kingston upon Thames Council. However, this is yet to be approved and is still under consideration at the time of writing. Remesis Revenge was a Huss topspin ride which opened at Chessington in 1995. 
It was the world's first topspin ride to feature a drown upside down element, where water fountains spray riders at certain parts of the ride cycle. The ride was widely regarded by visitors to the theme park, with many people who would stand by to watch the spectacle of fearful riders getting soaked. The ride was removed in 2019 and later replaced by Croc Drop. Before it closed, however, it was the last remaining top spin ride in the UK. Hocus Pocus Hall was a gothic-themed house of mirrors which opened in 2003 in the Burnstop Mansion at Chessington World of Adventures. This walkthrough attraction featured animatronic goblins and ghost style projections, as well as 3D paintings which could be viewed with 3D glasses, up until the feature was removed in 2017. In October 2018, it was announced that Hocus Pocus Hall would be closed, and it was transformed into Room on the Broom, a walkthrough attraction based upon the Julia Donaldson book under the same name. On July 6, 1987, the Chessington World of Adventures theme park was opened by Prince Edward. During his visit, he was captured riding the runaway train at the original log flume ride at the park Dragon River, now known as Tiger Rock. Terra Tomb was a dog ride attraction at Chessington World of Adventures that opened in 1994. It had an ancient Egyptian theme inside a haunted tomb, featuring animatronics and practical theatrical effects. The story followed a corrupt tour guide named Abdab plotting to steal treasure from within the tomb before he is captured by mummies and executed in a dramatic hard rock concert finale. Terra Tomb operated for seven years before it was closed and replaced by Tomb Blaster. The reason for the removal of Terra Tomb was due to the target audience of Chessington being families, which did not align with the horror theme of the ride. The Fifth Dimension was a dog ride that opened with the theme park in 1987. Upon opening, it was the first major special effects attraction in the UK. The layout and transit system of the ride were designed by John Wardley and manufactured by Mac Rides. The ride followed the character of computer troubleshooter robot Zapomatic through a series of eclectic scenes set inside a malfunctioning computer generated reality with large scale animations and special effects. Upon opening, the ride was not considered a success since it did not attract as much attendance as was expected. However, guest reception was generally positive despite a lot of confusion around the story. The ride was extensively redesigned for its second season to make it more appealing to younger visitors, including rewriting Zappomatic as a TV repair robot on a mission to defeat a virus named the Gorg. This allowed the ride to operate for another six seasons until being replaced by Terra Tomb in 1994. Smuggler's Galleon was a swinging pirate ship manufactured by Huss Rides, which operated in the Pirate's Cove area of the park since 1988. It was later rebranded and renamed as Black Buccaneer for the 1998 season. During the 2016 season, frequent and heavy rainfall 
meant the motor underneath the ride was flooded, causing the attraction to close for around a month. The following year, the ride received a fresh coat of paint and a single rider queue line. In 2019, the Black Buccaneer was said to be opening a month late, along with three other rides. However, the Black Buccaneer never reopened. It was later announced that the ride would be replaced for the 2020 season. However, the COVID-19 pandemic meant that the completion of construction was delayed until 2021. Black Buccaneer's replacement was to be named Blue Barnacle, a similar pirate strip attraction manufactured by German company Metalball and Malm. Blue Barnacle features a blue, white and red colour scheme. In 2019, following the closure of Hocus Pocus Hall, some of the old props from the attraction, including goblin statues, were sold to fans through a silent auction. Guests who wished to enter the draw had to write down a value for the item they wanted on a slip of paper, and then they were called after 12pm if they had won the item. Unfortunately, due to it being a silent auction, we'll never know the final value the items were sold for. However, all proceeds from the auction went to the Chessington Conservation Fund. Safari Skyway was a monorail-style ride, and was one of the original rides to open at Chessington World of Adventures one year before the main theme park opened alongside the zoo for the first time. Its addition was part of a plan devised in 1984 by the then Tussauds Director of Development, Ray Barrett, who commissioned John Wardley to help boost the flagging attendance numbers at Chessington Zoo. As it opened one year prior to the theme park, the ride offered an interesting view of the construction of the initial areas of the theme park for the ride's first year. In recent years, Safari Skyway experienced a number of problems with the ride being forced to close on several occasions due to maintenance issues. The ride took its final passengers in July 2015 before Chessington World of Adventures confirmed that it was to remain closed for the remainder of the 2015 season. After much speculation, it was finally announced in January 2016 that Safari Skyway was to be retired, marking the end of an era at the resort. During the planning stages of the world of Shimaji, the project name was Project Genesis. The name was later changed to Project Amazon to appeal to the council, since the word Amazon gives imagery of a lush and green land, as opposed to the vague name that is Genesis. There is an easter egg of Project Genesis at the park, with a license plate of a jeep spelling out the word Genesis. Chessington Railroad was a Chance Rides miniature railway ride, which opened in 1986. The ride was installed before the zoo was rebranded as a theme park, and operated for 10 years. It was very popular, however, the fact that long stretches of the route were on open pathways meant that the ride was deemed a safety risk and it was removed in 1996. Beano Land was an area of Chessington World of Adventures that was themed to one of the most successful British comics, Beano. The area opened in 2000 with two attractions, Billy's Whizzer, a wave swinger ride, and a Dodgem ride named Roger the Dodgers Dodgems. 
The next year, two more attractions were added to the area. Dennis's Madhouse and the Bash Street Bus, a small children's bus ride. The area remained unchanged for just under 10 years, before it was closed. But it went out with a bang, of course. On September 20th, 2009, a huge number of children and adults got involved in a huge custard pie fight, which covered the whole of Beano land. The fight went on for around 30 minutes to celebrate the end of a menacing era. In 2012, a live stage show named Madagascar Live Prepare to Party was introduced to the lineup. The 20 minute show featured characters from the DreamWorks Madagascar franchise. The show ran for two years before being replaced by Penguins of Madagascar Live, Operation Cheesy Dibbles in 2015 as part of the Year of the Penguins, which ran for one season. The Madagascar Association sadly ended there, and was replaced by Gruffalo Arena in 2017. Peking Heights was a ferris wheel manufactured by Fabri, which was installed in the Mystic East area of the Chessington World of Adventures Resort in 2005. Peking Heights was previously located at Thorpe Park, where it operated from 2003 to 2004, under the name Eclipse. The ride provided excellent views of the park, and you could even see Wembley Stadium from there on a clear day. The ride operated for 12 years before being removed in 2017 to make way for new Amur Tiger enclosures. Once again, a case of Mullen Entertainment's giving mysterious and strange names to their projects. Project Crumble was the name given to the transformation of Bubbleworks into the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure. The name refers to the plot of the Gruffalo movie, spoiler warning if you haven't seen that by the way, in which when preparing to eat the mouse, the mouse's stomach rumbles and he remarks that his favourite food is Gruffalo crumble, causing the Gruffalo to retreat in fear. The Burnt Stub is a country mansion of considerable history, in which Chessington Zoo was founded in the grounds of in 1931. As far as can be traced, the original mansion was built in 1348, probably as a country house named Chessington Lodge. It is thought that it was used as a school for officers in archery, and that a visit from Queen Elizabeth I resulted in an act being passed permitting the practice of archery in the grounds on Sundays. The original building became a cavalier stronghold during the Civil War of 1642-1660, and it was burnt to the ground by Cromwell's forces. After being rebuilt and restored, it was renamed the Burnt Stub, and has since continued to be known so. The site was apparently used as a wayside alehouse during the late 17th century, and it is presumed that the farmstead was rebuilt on a slightly grander scale in the 18th or 19th century. The estate came into the hands of the Fair Barker family at the beginning of the 20th century, but was again seriously damaged by fire. It was reconditioned in 1919 at a cost of £50,000, and in 1931 the owner, Sir Francis Barker, offered it for sale. Reginald Goddard saw the house and land for sale whilst driving past, and was said to have made an immediate offer. 
Today, the Burnt Stub Mansion remains one of the park's most iconic buildings. With its distinctive architecture and rich history, the walk's rear attraction, Room on the Broom, now occupies the lower floor of the mansion. It is no secret that while Chessington World of Adventures is amongst the best amusement parks in the UK, their food offerings are certainly not their strong point. In 2022, Mullen Entertainments announced a partnership with food service provider Aramark, who would take over the food and beverage operations at their parks and attractions. Since the partnership, guests had noticed a significant decline in the quality of food at Mullen Parks. In 2023, however, following an inspection, Chessington World of Adventures and Aramark received a warning from the Food Standards Agency after the Smokehouse Grill restaurant received a zero hygiene rating. The zero rating is the lowest on a scale of zero to five and attracts a summary of urgent improvement necessary. The two areas deemed most lacking during the smokehouse's inspection were hygienic food handling and management of food safety. Improvement was also reported as being needed in the cleanliness and condition of the facilities and building. The hygiene rating of the restaurant has since improved, with the restaurant receiving a 5 or very good rating on the latest inspection. In April 2011, a brand new temporary maze named Vampire 21 was opened next to the Vampire roller coaster to celebrate its 21st anniversary. Marcel is the name given to the famous organ playing animatronic located in the station building of Vampire. Marcel originally moved in time with the ride soundtrack, appearing as though he was playing it. However, due to poor maintenance, he had become very run down. Fortunately, Marcel was rewired and given a new outfit as part of the 2020 refurbishment for Vampire's 30th anniversary. In the gift shop of the original Professor Burp's Bubble Works ride, Professor Burp branded drinks were sold fresh from the factory. Hans Brick had a passion for wild animals, which led him to become one of the most legendary animal trainers. Chessington Zoo invited him to work there in 1932 where he spent several years training a variety of animals, including elephants, lions, tigers, and bears. Hans Brick's unique approach to animal training made him famous at Chessington Zoo. He believed in building a close relationship with the animals he trained, earning their trust and respect through patience and positive reinforcement. He would spend hours with each animal, gradually building up their skills and confidence until they were ready to perform in front of an audience. Hans demonstrated exceptional skills in training elephants, becoming famous for his daring stunts with these animals. He would ride on the backs of elephants, standing on their heads and performing acrobatic feats that amazed audiences. People claimed that he was able to calm them down in moments of stress or excitement. During World War II, Chessington Zoo was in danger due to its proximity to London. The decision was made by Reginald Goddard, the then owner of the zoo, to temporarily relocate the animals from the zoo to Devon, where Herbert Whitley owner of Primely Zoo, had recently closed his zoo due to tax disputes. 
Reginald proposed a merger of the two zoos, which Whiteley eventually agreed to. The attraction was known as Devon Zoo and Circus. Goddard was determined to make the zoo not only a conservation centre, but also a profitable and captivating attraction. With Chessington's renowned circus as part of the attraction, the collaboration flourished until the end of the war, when Chessington's animals and staff were returned to London. The Trail of Kings is a walkthrough attraction, home to enclosures for Western Lowland gorillas, as well as other animals. In 2007, an inspection of the Trail of Kings took place and it was determined that the gorilla enclosure was too small. Subsequently, a larger enclosure was built and completed in 2010. In 2006, after operating for 15 years, Professor Burp's Bubble Works was closed for refurbishment. The ride's theme was changed to a soap factory to see the ride's new sponsor, Imperial Leather, who also sponsored the flume at Alton Towers. Several of the sets and props were recycled, extensively modified and repainted by two swords. Additionally, almost all of the animations were removed or made static. Upon reopening, the ride received an overwhelmingly negative reception, with the removal of animations along with the charm of the original ride. There was also changes to the soundtrack, with dubbing over most of the original theme music with quacking duck sounds. The popular and much-loved dog ride, which was once referred to as the third best dog ride in the world, was now a mere shadow of its former self. John Wardley, the ride's developer, refused to ride the new version, having been warned that he would weep if he did. In 2014, the Imperial Leather sponsorship had ended, and brand logos were removed or covered up, though the rest of the ride remained unchanged for its final two years of operation. Graham Smod is a renowned composer of music who composed the iconic original Nemesis soundtrack for Alton Towers. He composed music for many rides at Chessington World of Adventures, including Professor Burp's Bubble Works, Terror Tomb, and of course, Vampire. In 2001, the Two Swords Group started a sponsorship with Ribena, a brand of blackcurrant based soft drinks. As part of the sponsorship, Chessington World of Adventures installed a new mini drop tower ride known as Ribena Berry Bouncers. The sponsorship also saw rides at other parks rebranded with Ribena theme. Berry Bouncers was renamed Jungle Bouncer when the sponsorship ended in 2012, and in 2017 the ride became Treetop Hoppers. Action Man Critical Mission was a large adventure playground attraction, themed to the Action Man action figure. The attraction opened in 1997 and was renamed to Action Man Training HQ in 2000. The attraction was removed in 2003. Rodeo was a Hus breakdance flat ride previously known as the Juggler. The ride was originally located in what was Circus World, now known as the Wild Asia area, before being moved to the Mexicana area in 1996. 
Unfortunately, in 2004, the much-loved attraction suffered a major breakdown, which was beyond repair. It was left standing but not operating until 2007, when it was removed entirely. The ride, however, lives on, since the ride's centerpiece of a cowboy on a horseback was repurposed and used as a prop in Vampire. In 2020, Chessington World of Adventures submitted a trademark application for the name and logo of their new ride, Croc Drop. American shoe manufacturer, Crocs, were clearly not happy with this name choice and filed an opposition case to the trademark application. After review from the UK Intellectual Property Office, the opposition of Croc Drop by Crocs was not upheld, and the trademark application was approved. On December 21st, 2013, a fire broke out at Chessington World of Adventures. The fire originated in the Creaky Cafe in the Transylvania area of the theme park and caused damage to the neighbouring Bubble Works ride. Fortunately, the damage was not severe, limited to the exterior wall to the finale room, which required repairs. In the middle of the park, there is a special chair, which is believed to have been there since before the theme park was established. Very little is known about the chair, but it is referred to as the wishing chair, since carved into the chair is a message that reads, take a seat and make a wish. On June 7th, 2012, a four-year-old girl fell from an elevated walkway used as the queue for the Tomb Blaster attraction. She suffered broken ribs, a cracked skull, and brain hemorrhage after falling 4.3 meters through a hole in the wooden fencing. On January 9th, 2015, Chessington pleaded guilty to the incident, labeling it as a result of improper maintenance. Health and safety investigators said that the fall happened as a result of water from the roof dripping onto the panelling, rotting the wood. On January 12th, 2015, Chessington World of Adventures was fined £150,000 as a result of the fall. Operator Melon Entertainments apologised and said that they had spent millions on remedial work across the park to ensure something similar could never happen again. One improvement made involved adding a steel rail fence to the Tomb Blaster queue. On Series 17, Episode 9 of Muck the Week, a topical satirical celebrity panel show, after discussing someone who was banned from going to the Ukraine, but has never been there, nor do they have any intention to go there, Hugh Dennis jokes about being banned from Chessington World of Adventures, stating that it's not really going to make much of a difference to his life. Immediately, Hugh realises that he would actually like to go to Chessington World of Adventures, and is now afraid of being banned for mocking it. It's kinda hard to explain this one, so just go watch the clip, which I've linked in the description if you're interested. Yes, I know I'm scraping the barrel here, but, you know, Chessington mentioned. In August 2009, to celebrate the release of Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs, Chessington World of Adventures held an event which included a temporary maze. 
The Ice Age maze was located outside of Binoland and was described as a voyage of discovery through a chilled ice cave and into a humid hidden jungle world with immersive interactive zones along the way. The farting chair was, well, a chair that made a fart sound when you sat on it. The chair was part of the Hocus Pocus Hall walkthrough attraction, which closed in 2018, and was sold as part of the silent auction following its closure. I wonder where the chair is now. On July 23rd, 2011, 40 guests were trapped upside down when the Ramesses Revenge ride stopped due to a technical issue. After a few seconds, the ride's safety system activated, lowering riders to the ground level. It then took a further 20 minutes to release them. Six people were treated by emergency services for asthma and panic attacks. Subsequently, the ride was closed for the rest of the year. During the 2013 Halloween event, Hocus Pocus Hall had a makeover featuring a new theme overlay and soundtrack. The attraction was renamed to the Mystery of Hocus Pocus Hall for the Halloween event and its story was about the park's mascot, Sir Arthur Stubbs. The soundtrack of the attraction was played park-wide from 2013, until it was scrapped in 2015. But although the attraction is gone, you can still hear the soundtrack being played park-wide for the annual Halloween event. Following the 2012 incident in the Tomb Blaster queue line, park owner Merlin Entertainments initiated a court case to seek an injunction against Peter Cave, owner of survey consultancy Pierre Edgerton Limited. The consultancy firm had been hired by Merlin to prepare a report on the safety of the park after the 2012 incident. Cave's firm found around 2,000 defects and potential safety hazards. This led to a dispute between Cave and Merlin, culminating in court proceedings to prevent the park from reopening after its 2012 winter break. Merlin won this case though, and the park reopened. Cave then set up a campaign to warn the public and staff of the findings including sending out 80,000 emails. Merlin claimed to have spent £4.6 million on repairs and improvements that Cave had recommended, and named the allegations as baseless. But High Court Judge Elizabeth Lang ruled that the campaign was a matter of public interest and refused the injunction to silence Cave. From July 25th to August 18th, 2012, the now defunct Moshi Monsters visited Chessington. The characters could be met, and there were challenges around the park, which if completed, could win you Moshi Monster lanyards, in-game 1000 rocks codes, and seeds. Each Moshling was looking after a secret symbol, you had to collect all eight to unlock a code word revealing a new Moshling online. In 1992, Ambassadors of Funk released a song named Super Mario Land, a novelty pop song based on the 1989 platform video game Super Mario Land. The song featured samples of the music and sound effects from the game, Vocals on the song were provided by British rapper Einstein, also known as Colin Case, who performed under the name MC Mario for the track. The music video for the song was filmed at Chessington World of Adventures and featured an actor in a Mario costume, provided by Nintendo UK. 
The video featured the entrance of the park, the giant Buddha statue next to Tiger Rock, as well as the ride itself, which was known as Dragon Falls at the time. It also featured dancers in the Calamity Canyon area of the park, which is now known as Mexicana. Mario's designer, Shigeru Miyamoto, approved the project and the album, titled Super Mario Compact Disco, and it was released in Japan in August 1993. The song was heavily marketed in the UK, and even reached number 8 in the charts. There is an old piece of theming as you exit the Vampire Roller Coaster that looks like a stained glass window and has the word Nosferatu etched into it. This is an original piece of theming from the ride, and the word is an archaic Romanian word meaning vampire. Series 4 of Bodger and Badger a BBC children's comedy programme written by Andy Cunningham was filmed at Chessington World of Adventures. The series, consisting of nine episodes, was aired in 1993, and it featured Bodger and Badger working at the theme park. Bodger was the caretaker there, and Badger made friends with a girl called Holly, who frequently visited the theme park. Since her mother was a staff member there, Holly was free to visit whenever she liked. Bodger's boss was Mr. Beasley, who was nasty and obsessed with rules. Beasley kept trying to catch Badger to try to get Bodger kicked out of the park. In the summer of 2013, following the launch of the park's African experience Zufari, Chessington World of Adventures announced that they would impose a ban of animal print clothing on the new attraction because it was supposedly confusing to the animals. Spokeswoman Natalie Dilloway said that a lot of animals were becoming baffled by what seemed to be zebras and giraffes on their terrain. Chessington World of Adventures even hired bouncers to make sure visitors were following the new rule and plain grey boiler suits were handed out to those who may be mistaken for an animal. Band prints included zebra, giraffe, leopard, cheetah, tiger, spotted hyena, striped hyena, and African wild dog. This did, however, turn out to be a PR stunt, and the rule was not enforced. It did prove very successful for Chessington, however, having one of their busiest seasons since 2008. In 2016, during the final month of the Bubble Works ride, Chessington offered separately priced VIP behind the scenes tours of the ride to the public. Tours were led by an actor in the Professor Burp imitation costume and wig. The tours reportedly contained factual inaccuracies about the original ride, including stating that the bubble had characters were named Willy Heads. This was also displayed on notice boards during the ride's closing down media party. This is an unfortunate and inappropriate mistake, but I personally find it very funny. <laughs> So that was the Chessington World of Adventures iceberg. If you made it this far, thank you for sticking around. I'm sure there was probably some things I missed, so if you know of anything I could have added, let me know in the comments. Also feel free to let me know what video you would like to see from me next. Thank you so much for watching.